Hopefully, y'all, today we are diving into the numbers, the growth, and all the things that happened in January. My first 30 days of the challenge to myself to post one short every single day for all the days of this year. This year's leap year. That means 366 shorts. However, before we jump into the numbers, why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe below and hit that notification bell so that you can go on this journey with me. You and me are safe. January has been a learning experience for me. I challenged myself to post a single short every single day of the year. At first, I thought that was going to be 365 posts this year, but it's leap year. So I have to post 366 shorts this year. And I wanted to see if I posted consistently, how would that affect my channel? I even started out the year by labeling them according to what day of the year I was posting them. For example, the first post on January 1st was 1 out of 366, and then 2 out of 366, and then 3 out of 366. I knew that my OCD tendencies would not allow me to break that series, and I would have to keep up with it for all 366 days. Before we start with the numbers, let me give you a super quick recap of what brought me to this point. I've been piddling around on YouTube for a couple of years now, random videos, no consistency whatsoever, some Spanish videos, some travel videos, some about my family, just willy-nilly whatever could get posted. Well, last summer I decided, okay, I'm going to get serious and start Travel with Tracy Joe. My husband and I both love to travel and we took several trips last year, so I challenged myself in September to post a short every single day for the month of September. And I did it and I saw growth and then I quit. That's not good. And you can see here that I was gaining momentum. I was gra grabbing subscribers. I was growing. And then after a couple weeks in October, when I had already quit posting videos every day, my subscribers stopped coming and they did not come back until January or the very end of December when I started posting again. Consistency really is important if you want to grow your channel. I ended December of 2023 with 482 subscribers. We went on a trip at the end of December and I started posting a couple of things. Um, and it kind of got me back into it. So on January the 1st, I posted a video about a candy shop that we visited in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And my goal to post every single day this year. Well... It got over 2,700 views and I got nine subscribers from that. That definitely cemented my decision to post a short every single day and it got me very excited about this challenge. Now, I really didn't have a number in my head for my goal of how many subscribers I wanted to reach this year. The only thing I knew I wanted was I wanted to reach 1,000 subscribers so that I can get monetized. Now, of course, I'm still going to have to get 4,000 watch hours for full monetization, or YouTube has a new program now where you can get some monetization at 3,000 watch hours, but halfway there, 1,000 subscribers, that gets me at least half of the um, formula that I need to, to earn some money this year. So maybe my goals will change as the year progresses, but all I knew for sure was that I wanted to reach a thousand subscribers and I am seeing that I can definitely do that this year. So let's look at the results. How did I do in January? You can see I had 45,000 plus views at the beginning. It was just kind of there up and down. Some days better than other days, of course, some days not much at all. And it kind of increased the average increased says I gained 82 subscribers. So you can kind of see here, my goal with the shorts is to gain more subscribers. Of course, I want more views, but right now the goal with the shorts is to get subscribers. So I was achieving that pretty much flatlined here at the beginning. I posted the first day and then nothing, but then January 12th. So 12 days of posting, I started getting more and more views. There were some days I lost some, it happens, but I netted 82. But if you come up here and look at content, it shows you that I actually got 90 new subscribers, 90. And if I go over here to all, 
I actually have 90 new subscribers from shorts and one new subscriber from a video. So when I click more here under subscribers, it will show you your shorts, your videos and other. I honestly don't even know what other is. I'll figure that one out. So I gained 90 subscribers with my shorts. I gained one new subscriber with long form videos. But over the course of the month, I did lose nine subscribers. So that happens and you can see these yellow dots. So some days I feel like, you know, it just kind of, I got one from a video, one from a short and I lost one. So I still kind of netted one, I guess. So you can see that my subscribers did increase over the month. Then it went back down at the end of the month and it started to go back up again. So overall, I'm happy. When you think that I got 91 new subscribers over the course of the month, and I'm actually 82 subscribers um, further along in my goal to uh, 1,000 subscribers so that I can possibly get monetized soon. Um, this, this is okay with me. And the other thing I was trying to figure out is, let me see, go back to analytics. If you look here, your top content, it will show you your top content, what got the most views. So I was kind of looking at that. And when I came down here to go see more, it brings all this up. And I did filter it to content type. I just want to look at my shorts only, not my long form videos right now. This will show you the videos and then it gives you the views the average view duration and the average percentage view, which is one of those things that helps drive traffic to your channel is when you're getting these high percentages. So I look down through these numbers and I see like 114%, 149%, 130%. And I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to do with all these numbers, but I'm trying to make connections. And so I started looking over here to see how long the shorts were and compared them to the, the duration and how much they were viewed, which obviously is going to help my analytics and me being seen. And I found that my shorts that were between eight and 19 seconds had the, the largest average percentage viewed. Some of them that were a lot longer, such as this one was a minute, was only 49%. This one was 58 seconds. It was only at 21%. This one was 53 seconds and it was at 36%. So my longer shorts are not doing as well as my shorter shorts. So for the month of February, I believe I am going to try to keep my shorts under 20 seconds if possible. So that's January, my first 30 days of my challenge to post every single day this year and to see what happens. I hope to get more subscribers. So far that's working. I am going to learn what works and doesn't work such as I should have shorter shorts, I think. So this, this next 30 days, I am going to be posting shorts between eight seconds and 20 seconds. And we'll see if that ups my number of subscribers. Thanks for going on this journey with me and I'll see you in the next 30 days. You and me are safe. We'll fight again.